What's up everybody? Uh, this is Adam Bueller. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video, my first tutorial video actually, so if it sucks, I don't really know what to tell you. I'm not trying to be entertaining, I'm just telling you how to do this. Basically what we're going to be doing is downloading Cockatrice, which is a free program that is used to play Magic the Gathering online. Um, but instead of using it to play Magic, we're going to be using it to play WWF Raw Deal, which is an old card game from about 20 years ago that a lot of people still like to play, even though it's been long dead. Um, but basically, we're going to be modifying the, the files and configuring it to where we can run that game instead of Magic. If you do want to do Magic, then that's great. You can still do one or the other. Um, you can kind of do both, but I wouldn't recommend it for obvious reasons. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and all the links are going to be in the description, but you're going to want to go to the Cockatrice download link, which is going to take you to this GitHub page. Download links are going to be down near the bottom. So if you scroll down, uh, you're going to see that there's links for Mac OS, uh, Ubuntu. Um, I don't know what this other stuff is, um, but I personally have Windows. So if you have Windows, you have Win32, Win64. I don't think it matters which one you use, but if you have a fairly new computer, and by fairly new, I mean within the last 10 years, um, then you're going to want to download the Win64 version. Once you get that downloaded, you're going to want to go to the Mega link and you're going to download the raw deal files uh, by hitting the download button there. So once you've got those downloaded, I'll go ahead and show you the next thing that you're going to want to need to do. All right, so we have our files here. We have the cockatrice install file. We have the raw deal zip files. So first thing you're going to want to do is to double click on cockatrice install. Go ahead and hit next, agree. I would recommend doing portable mode. You can do normal installation mode if you know where the files are going to install to and you can navigate through your computer fairly easily. Um, but I would imagine that most people probably cannot. Um, I, I would imagine that there's a lot of people downloading this that aren't going to be quite as tech savvy. So I would recommend just doing portable mode. And then uh, I would recommend saving it to the desktop, which is where I have mine going. And then you're just going to want to hit install. And you're going to want to, and then you'll see right here. That's going to be, I mean, usually the first open space on the desktop. Uh, we're not going to hit run just yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit finish. So you're going to want to go to your Cockatrice folder, open up Cockatrice for the first time. Uh, it's going to give you the welcome message saying, OK, it's installed. It's going to install all the card files for Magic the Gathering. It's just a necessary thing. So just let it do what it needs to do. So just keep everything at default and then hit save. Then it's going to do the tokens. You're going to want to hit next, finish, and then eventually, like magic, ironically, all of the magic card files are going to pop up. So what we're going to want to do here, if you're using this for raw deal, you're going to hit disable all sets. This is going to completely, not remove, but hide all of the magic, the gathering cards and hit OK. And if you ever want to go back and configure this, if you go up to card database, edit sets, you're going to end up going right back to the same thing, which we're going to end up going back to, we are going to go back to here momentarily. But for now, let's go ahead and close Cockatrice. Uh, keep this open. Next thing that we're going to want to do is unzip the raw deal files. You're going to see two folders, which are going to be themes and data. So you're going to go ahead and drag both of those over. If it asks you to overwrite anything, just go ahead and hit yes because that's exactly what we want to do. So replace the file in the destination. Just go ahead and hit yes on all that. OK, so now we have the raw deal files in Cockatrice. So now we're going to go ahead and open it back up. Uh, you can go ahead and hide this if you don't need anything. Um, so all of the raw deal sets cards are now loaded back in here. And it looks like all of the Magic the Gathering cards also started back up. So you're going to get go ahead and hit Disable All Sets again. Now, what I would recommend doing, and I guess you don't really have to, um, I would recommend uh, hitting, like, just enabling and putting in the correct order the raw deal cards, but you don't really have to. So if you hit uh, Set Type, I have it set to where the raw deal cards are going to be RD, in the list here. So you just scroll down until you see RD. So here you see all the raw deal cards. There's going to be 22 all together. So basically you're just going to enable all of these 
takes a little bit because the window is not super huge. So this is basically all I have are just the classic version cards. So I have all those. Only the raw deal cards are showing up now. And the reason why I would recommend doing the um, putting them in the correct order. So like if you go back here and you scroll down, I'll show you what I mean by that. We're just looking for one the ones that have the check. All right, so basically if you click on one and you hit this button, it's going to shoot it all the way up to the top. The reason why I would suggest putting all those in the correct order, which I'm not gonna do right now, you can do that if you want, is that there are some cards that have different printings, alternate printings, like the promos and things like that. Whatever order that you have these set in, so like right now, for example, it's gonna prioritize the artwork for Mania over Backlash. It's gonna show the Mania artwork first. Um, it really doesn't matter if you do that or not because everything's already set for the correct card art for everything. Um, and there's not really a lot of alternate card arts. I haven't put that in yet. Maybe in the future I'll probably do that. Um, if that's something you want to do, it's not really hard to do. If you want to look at the files and just edit it if you want. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do, because right now we still have the Magic the Gathering uh, card back here. We're going to go to Cockatrice. We're going to go to Settings. And then we're going to go to Appearance. Next thing we're going to do, you're going to see under Theme, Raw Deal, Raw Deal Dark Mode. So if you go to Raw Deal, it's going to keep everything the same, but it's going to end up putting it with the card back, um, the correct card back. Um, however, if you want what I personally prefer, and it's up to you, it's all 100% personal preference, I did set up a Dark Mode theme that I personally like a little bit better. Um, again, your your preference, if whichever one you want to use, I personally like this better. But if you look, uh, all of the correct card arts are on there. Some of them are a little hard to see, but if you ha have a card, it's a little difficult to read. What you can do is you can click on description, and that's exactly what's on the card right there. So the way I have this set up is you're going to see you can sort by sets, uh, you can sort by, it says mana cost, but what that refers to is the fortitude rating. Power and toughness is actually the damage. Card type, so there's reversal, action, different mid-match uh, versions, maneuver, superstar, uh, pre-match, uh, all, all different types of cards. Now, on some of the cards, you're going to notice, like, right this on this one says active. This one has the raw logo, says unique. Um those are going to be indicated in this uh, section here. Uh, same thing for like cheater, uh, fan favorite. Uh, basically, they're all going to be right in there. Um, and then as far as like for the damage goes, like just because I'm looking at this one, um, the three uh, little stars are going to be corresponding to the stars on the card. That's going to refer to the stun value. Um, which all that is, if you don't really know the rules of the game, I can, I'm can. i probably going to make another video where I explain how to play the game, like the rules and different things like that. Um, but I kind of have to get caught up and relearn that a little bit myself. So as far as building the deck, and if you prefer, if you click Control-O or if you go to Deck Editor, Load Deck, I do have a few starter decks already loaded in. Um, and these are the same starter decks where if you were to buy one off the shelf 20 years ago, this is the these are the exact contents that you would get. Um, for example, you know, the Deadly Boys deck, everything's all going to be right here. But let's say, for example, that you want to make your own deck, which hit Control N for a new deck. First thing that you're going to want to do, obviously, is choose a superstar, um, which if you go to card types, uh, and you see some of them really don't have card types, uh, some of them aren't even legal, like this. You're never going to use that. I don't know why I actually put it in the game. But if you scroll down, we'll go down to the uh, Superstar cards. And you can see there's there's quite a few. Uh, which, I don't know why that says unique. I need to fix that. But anyway. Um, yeah, so there's there's quite a few Superstars in the, uh, in the game that you can pick here. Uh, was there one that... The artwork didn't show up for... No, I thought so. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, so I personally prefer 
not prefer, but uh, I personally really enjoy Kurt Angle. Uh, Kurt Angle is a fa- one, one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, my girlfriend absolutely hates Kurt Angle, so makes it even better. Um, so what you're going to want to do, right click, you're going to want to add that to the sideboard. Because your superstar isn't part of your 60 card constructed deck, uh, so you're going to want to click that, put that on the sideboard. You're going to do the same thing for <clears throat> what would be the backlash cards, which would be pre-match or mid-match. Uh, so like mid match, it's basically going to be the cards that are gonna, that are sideways. Um, so you're allowed. I don't remember the number. I want to say it's eight pre match, eight mid match. But let's say if you decide that you want to add those in, you're going to add those into the sideboard as well. Um, now there's a lot of superstar specific maneuver cards, or not maneuver, but just in general for Kurt Angle. So up in the search bar, if we type Kurt Angle, this is going to come up with every card that is uh, specific to Kurt Angle here, which uh, intelligence for some reason the, oh there it goes okay, for some reason it wasn't loading up right away um, so yeah, I mean basically any of these so like for example, uh, this one you're going to add to the sideboard, another thing you can click on the blue arrow, that'll add it to your sideboard as well uh, find another one of the, okay there we go um, add that to the sideboard, just just for the sake of example. Um, or what you can do, like for the main deck cards, you can actually just double click, you can hit enter, um, basically however you want to do it. But basically you're going to want to go to 60 main deck. If you end up doing a full backlash um, deck, just remember that, which for some reason Kurt Angle was in the main board, not on the sideboard. Um, but basically you're going to want to end up doing uh, 16 total sideboard cards with their superstar so i guess technically 17 um but that's basically the basics of deck construction how you go about doing that um again if if you know how to play the game it shouldn't really be too difficult to build your deck if not uh i'll probably end up putting out another tutorial video showing you how to actually play like with the rules and everything like that um but as far as the gameplay itself goes um what you're going to need to do to access the, to be able to play online with other people, you're going to want to go to register to server. And then from here, keep everything the same, super simple. Uh, keep, you're going to want to keep host and port the same player, password, password again, email, email again, country and real name. You're going to want to add, make sure that you get all those fields put in, but it takes about two seconds to actually do this. Um, but for now, what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do local game, which is basically just going to, pop up like a one player game so we're going to go to load deck uh let's do dudley boys sure why not so here is your full deck list uh, which is basically just the starter version of the deck uh no changes or no additions no modifications nothing's been altered with the deck again this is exactly what you're going to have in there if you were to buy it brand new off the shelf and open it up so for new people new players that's probably the best way to kind of go about practicing and learning how to play the game and kind of getting used to things but we're going to go to ready to start so everything has been kind of modified i couldn't really fix this so it still has the magic the gathering part there um but you have your main deck showing 60 cards and then some of this is probably still going to be modified a little bit. Um, I actually just now realized that there's probably a few things that I was going to change on this as far as like the different markers on here. So you're going to want to set this to zero. You can click, 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 whatever you want, or you can hit control L and just set it to zero. So that's in magic. This is your life total in raw deal. You're going to want to make that your fortitude rating. Um, this is going to indicate your, uh, this was originally supposed to, indicates your um, superstar value because there are different cards that can alter that and then this is supposed to indicate your stun value because there are certain cards that keep track of your total stun value cards you have your different phases start turn uh, if you have a superstar ability that happens before your draw step you would do it there your draw step your main phase of your deck these are all set up for um, magic the gathering turn phases so these you don't really you're not going to use these. It's still going to go through it, but uh, you don't even really need to worry about it. And then end turn, and then your opponent will pass the turn once you declare the end of your turn. So uh, when you when your turn is over, you would hit end turn, uh, and then your opponent would end up hitting pass turn. Um, 
but there's a lot of different uh, shortcuts that you can do in the game that uh, I would recommend go checking out the shortcut list. It might get make things a little bit easier for you for getting started. But first thing that we're going to want to do is hit Control F3. That's going to open up your sideboard. So you're going to want to put your Superstar card down here into this area. And like I said, this is set for your Superstar value. And if like since this is a little hard to see, again, you can hit description and that's going to let you read everything. Or what you can do is the center wheel of your mouse. Uh, if you hit that, that's going to kind of zoom things in a little bit. So our superstar value is three. Our hand size is eight. So we're going to set that to three. Your opponent would do the same. And then there's also a pre-match phase where you would play cards from your backlash deck and your pre-match cards. A lot of those cards can alter your superstar ability. So that's why this is set to where you keep track of it. Um, and then you would draw eight cards. You can either hit control E to draw the number of cards, or you can just double click your deck. That's going to draw you a card. Seven, eight. So basically, and again, this isn't really a tutorial of showing you the rules of the game or how to play it. This is basically just showing you how it functions. So if you were to play a card, for example, uh, our fortitude rating is zero, so we're allowed to play this card. If you were to play this card, you would just simply double click on it your opponent would have it's going to end up going into this zone so this zone is for whether or not cards are being like for um, cards that are actively being played so putting it here is basically letting your opponent know hey i'm playing this card and then they have a chance to respond to it with a reversal or whatever it may be um, if there's no reversals or if the card is successfully played then we would double click it again whoops and then it would end up going i need to actually fix that so there's probably going to be an update with everything. Uh, originally I was going to set this as the ring area and this as the ringside pile, but I realized that there are some cards that it's easier if you have them stay in play. So I'm actually going to go through and set some of this to where when you double click it, it'll go here rather than here. Um, so, and, and etc. So there's probably going to be an update later on with that, but for the time being, if you double click it, it's going to go here, but we're going to want it to go here. So you can just manually drag it over um, and then obviously you do whatever the card says when you take damage from a card for example this is two damage if our opponent were to play that on us um, we would basically just take the top card put it into our ringside pile and we just do that until um, the conditions on the card are met once your your deck is completely completed or depleted which would this is considered your arsenal once your arsenal is depleted then you lose the game basically so that's more or less the object of the game, is to get rid of all the cards in your opponent's deck. Now, since we played this card, it has two damage, which means it gave us two fortitude. So we would just set that to two. Um, well, technically this would be the main part of our turn, but whatever. Um, and then, so let's say I end up playing this card. It goes through, cool. We got another two. Um, and you just keep going like that until your turn ends, your opponent plays a reversal. Once the turn's over, we hit end turn. Your opponent will hit it past turn, and then you basically just continue to go from there. That's pretty much the basics of everything. That's basically how you play, how you set everything up to play, um, and things like that. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this becomes a thing that people want to do. Hopefully people enjoy it, have fun with it. Um, eventually, like I said, this is only the classic version of the cards. Um, so from 2000 to 2006, before Comic Images lost their WWE license and had to stop making the game. But there is a community online that kept the game going through basically fan-made updates and things like that. Um, which there's like the Revolution series, there's the Virtual series. Um, down the road, I might incorporate that stuff into the game. I'm not entirely sure if I will or not. I guess it depends on if people enjoy this and want to continue playing it or not um because if nobody's playing it i'm frankly not going to waste my time with it <laughs> so um but yeah that's the brief tutorial i'll probably end up making some more tutorials as far as like the rules of the game how to connect online to play with other people which that is fairly straightforward to be honest um and i'm probably gonna end up making a discord for all this stuff too so i'll probably end up updating everybody with that once i get that going as well too um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll, uh, 
hopefully see you guys down the line. Hopefully see some people online wanting to play Raw Deal. Thanks. Bye.